This is it. This is the going home show with this gang, and I hope you've enjoyed them as much as I have, and you here at home, I mean in the studio, and you at home is what I meant to say. If you're ready, I am. Winning money today for the blue section from Match Game, Mr. Gene Ray Ray Rayburn and Helen Rayburn. Hey. Gene Rayburn, man. I don't think you're ready. Hey. Winning money for the yellow section, Ron Cass, and from Dynasty, Joan Collins. Hey. And winning money for the red section, George Gratto and Barbie Benton. Hey. Ah, yes. I said I was ready and then said, Gene Ribber. Gene Ribber. You're not ready. Go back and come back. I'm ready. No, I am ready. And I hope you've had half as much fun as I have. You've all been wonderful and you will all come back, will you not? Yes, indeed. I certainly hope so. I'm fascinated by your buttons. What did that say on there? What buttons? Your buttons on your sleeve there. Is that a picture of a. No, it's. What does that say? Lovely jacket, incidentally. It doesn't say anything, I don't think. It doesn't say anything. Okay. I got a picture. No, it doesn't of it. say. No, it's just a, a design. Oh, I brought I think. it up there. Anytime you boys mm, are of, ready. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> talk, about, talk about dull television. I'm like sorry. <laughs> ready, ladies? Here we go. First question for you. When you're in the mood for sex, how do you let your husband know about it? By saying something, or by doing something? Thank you, <laughs> lady. The blue sex went. Uh oh. Goodbye. Uh oh. What do you think, uh, Helen? Will say, sir. <laughs> Yeah. Ah. You want to talk about my buttons now? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, you know, it's uh, putting on something flimsy or, or attractive mm -hmm. or arousing or mm -hmm. wearing something or, or biting my ear or something <laughs> like that. What is that? That's, That's doing something, I oh, think. Oh, yeah. I would say, wouldn't yeah. you? If you don't know... Yeah, or... well, I guess it's doing something. Yeah. yeah. Right. Rather than saying something. Right, yeah. As opposed to. Yeah. Very well done, sir. Doing something it is. Here she comes. <laughs> Helen, yes. how, how do you let Jean know? Well, I usually take off my nightcap and flannel nightgown and say, Howdy, stranger. <laughs> <laughs> doing something. Yes, doing something. That's what he said, you said. You would say <laughs> Howdy, stranger. That's better than howdy, sailor, I guess. Uh, Ron, what will Jones say? We use Western Union. <laughs> no, what are the choices now? The choice is to say something or do something. Oh, God, she does it both ways. <laughs> oh, I, guess, uh, I guess, you know, that's difficult because it's a little bit of both, but I would say doing something. Doing something. Yes. Care to give us a hint? I can't on this show. I know, there's a lady back there. There's a lady back there that will cut it out. I see. <laughs> okay. I wonder what he meant by that. Oh, you mean the censor? I'm yes, sorry. I don't know what you meant. Here comes Joan. Joan, uh, how best do you signify that mood? You mean how best? Funny vernacular. Um, I find it's an extremely intimate question. Being British, I find it very difficult to face the television audience and yeah. actually tell them he's intimate details of my sex life. That's true. Our sex life. Yes. So I will not elaborate. I will simply say, doing something. Yes, that's what the man said. But I shall not Just tell you what. Just walk. Just walk. <laughs> you, you don't have to tell us what, because Ron already told us. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't go to South Asia and what about it. <laughs> no, he did not tell us. I, I said me. we use Western Union. Yes. <laughs> what will Barbie say, George? Well, Bert, before I answer that, I need to get a definition. Uh, does grabbing me by my hair and pulling me into the room, does that constitute, does that constitute doing something? <laughs> Boy, you scared me to death. <laughs> grabbing oh, that's me by not... your hair, eh? Yeah, no. This is not uh, the Richard Nixon famous line. Anyway, I would say that probably by saying something, uh, it, because usually it goes from a hey, you to a hey, honey. So uh oh. I would, yes, I think it's yeah. saying something. A softly whispered a phrase. A softly whispered. A look, a sigh. The yeah. fundamental things apply. Can, yes, we, oh, I'm sorry. can we move this along? Here yes. we go. I, uh, <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> Barbie, how do you let him know? Jean. I'm always in the mood for sex. 
Oh. Really? Uh, when I really need it, I have to have it. Yes. I let George know by the use of body language. Which is doing something, and he said words. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Has he been missing the signal lately, Barbie? <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. I wondered, I wondered why we haven't seen each other. I got 200 guys over here that are going to answer that signal if you need it. Joan and Ron and Helen and Jane are ready, and they're right, and they got it. And we'll come back in a moment for question number two. And a look at a sign and body language and all those things. Still arguing back there, can you hear? What do you mean the truth? Here we go. If you're ready, second question, ladies. Listen carefully, if you will. Ladies, you donate a coat to a thrift shop a couple of weeks. Oh, to a thrift. Uh, to... Start again. Right. That's One more time. Here we go. You donate a coat to a thrift shop. Period. A couple of weeks later, you go out to dinner with another couple, and the woman is wearing what looks exactly like the coat you gave away. <laughs> Would you ask her where she got it? Or would you just keep on wondering? <laughs> Off you go. Now, this question is not as far out as you might think, because a similar experience happened to an acquaintance of mine. Um, I won't go any further than that, but uh, what do you think? What would, we're asking Joan this question now. Ron, you're up. These are rough questions this time. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, I don't think Joan would want to embarrass the woman, but she'd be very curious. Yes, you I bet. think she'd find an opportunity to ask. Some way to bring it up, like, yeah, say, by in a very way. subtle kind of oblique it's, way. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. then, the next question would be, would the lady tell her, in fact, where she got it? <laughs> okay, but you're going to say she would, uh, she would ask where she got it. I think so. Okay, here she comes. In a nice way. Yes, of course. Uh, what would you do, Joan? Uh, there she is, sitting across the table from you. Well, I think, first of all, I'd laugh a lot. <laughs> And um, I, I just would have to ask her where she got it. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> I mean, what? I think it's hilarious. In yeah. fact, it has happened. Has it happened mm. to you? Yes, yeah. it has. But it hasn't happened with going out to dinner with a couple. It's happened with um, somebody at a party that I've seen in something that I had given away uh, <laughs> to some people. Oh. But I didn't go out to them. But if it was a couple that I knew, of course, I would ask. Right. But I wouldn't, if they said that they got it from a thrift shop, I wouldn't say it was mine. No. I said you said it in a nice way. Yes, oh, yes of course, in a nice way. <laughs> Hello, ducks. Where did you get that? <laughs> uh, what will Barbie say, George? Well, I think that um, Barbie's the type of woman that doesn't like to embarrass anybody. So I would have to say that even though she would be very curious, she probably would not ask about the coat. She'd just keep on wondering. But I got to tell you, if it was the underwear, I think my wife would ask right away. <laughs> so where did you get that? I gave it away to you. <laughs> I'm okay, I got it. <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> Barbie, uh, what are you going to do in this situation? I wouldn't hesitate for a moment. You would uh, ask? I would ask her. No, that's not what he said. <laughs> I now, explain I never disagree. <laughs> you, you were so positive, you said, I wouldn't hesitate for a moment. I'm sorry, but... I, I would ask. I certainly wouldn't tell her that it was my coat that I just gave them. That but, would be a little too tacky. But so. you, would, you would ask where you got it. That's right. It doesn't mean you have to divulge That's that right. it's yours, That's too. That's right. I didn't understand. Yeah, that. I never thought about that, either. You always find some way to... Yeah, we'll take I, you home, Barbie. Follow us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where's that mirrored hotel? Where's their coat? <laughs> what are you gonna, what's she gonna say? Can you clarify that for Helen? No, I can't. I just... Oh, I asked the question, and she has a copy of it in front of her now, back yes. there. And I won't, uh, ask, you know, do that. Yes. You gave it to a thrift shop, yeah. and you see someone else wearing it. A couple of weeks later, you go out to dinner with another couple, <laughs> yeah. and she's wearing what looks exactly like. I don't think Helen would ask. You don't think so? No. She might ask, but she wouldn't say it was my coat. No, but that's not part of the question. Would you, yeah. well, I don't would you ask her where she got see, it, or think, would you just keep wondering? Yeah. I think it's implied that uh, you would also mm. reveal that it was your coat, so I'm going to say she would not ask. Okay, the answer is she will, she will keep wondering. Here she yeah. comes. You have a choice of two. Helen, what would you do about that coat? Oh, that's a very difficult question. I, I'm, I'm a kind lady. I don't think I'd ask her where she got it. That's what the man said. Like Helen and Jean and Joan and Ron are right. Barbie and George are still looking for one. It's halftime, guys. Step to the rear, if you will. The ladies are coming out. And we'll come back with the next half of Dattletales with Up the Moon. Thank you for doing that.